Hi viewers, uh, my name is Alan Yagjin. I'm an um, ergonomist, and today I want to talk about split keyboards. Um, as you can see here, I have my cafe style um, home table ergonomic setup here, and that includes this Kinesis Freestyle Pro uh, keyboard. As you can see, it's tethered. This uh, particular model includes the VIP3 kit, which can tent, which is this, it angles up and down um, into three different angles called the VIP3. Um, and that's why it's called that, yes. So um, essentially, I can place this any, in any angle that I, as, as I, you know, as I desire here, I can kind of pivot it at the front part and split it, or I can take it and just separate it entirely with this, with this version of a split keyboard. But um, whether you have a fixed split keyboard or one that has a tether like this one, I'm basically going to go over the reason why you might think that you or someone else would need one. So let's get started here. Um, okay, so first of all, um, if you are the type of typist that rests your palms in front of the keys when you type, um, you are more at risk of needing of requiring uh, for a proper setup a split keyboard. Just because if you are the type of person that types with your wrists straight as shown and then sort of like uh, a pianist and just kind of move your entire arm, arms around, you're more likely to keep your wrists entirely straight in this direction and also straight in this direction. So you'll actually move your, your entire um, arm around, um, inclu so including mobility in your shoulder and elbow um, when typing. However, if you're the type that plant your wrist down, you'll notice with that planting that you're going to end up with a little bit more wrist deviation. Either that wrist deviation can be either towards your thumbs, which is radial deviation, or towards your pinkies, which is ulnar deviation here. So the more common one would be ulnar deviation. Um, and so that, that ulnar deviation is the primary reason why um, ergonomists would recommend a, um, a split keyboard for somebody. Immediately when they see this happening, instead of their wrist straight, they'll say, oh, you know, let's fix that. Let's align the keys with their, with their digits so that, so that when their wrist is straight, we can get, um, we can get someone to comfortably type. And uh, we're pretty much engineering out the problem. You know, because they can just rest their wrists on the palm support if there, most likely there would be one. Um, or you can get a pad, whatever, in front of the keyboard, and they can still rest their wrists on that pad, and they won't have that deviation there because those keys will be split. In the, in the orientation of their elbows. Now with that said, if, if you have a hard time typing, like if you have a, I'm gonna arrange this in a linear fashion by bringing them together, or I can just use this one just to demonstrate, this is not proper, but um, if, you're, if your wrists are, are like, end up being like this, straight, then what ends up happening is sometimes people will feel tension here. They'll also feel like they're scrunching up or their shoulders need to come forward in order for them to type, uh, which essentially brings, you know, you know, if you engage the employee and you ask them, hey, I, you know, I, hey, I, I feel kind of tight right here. I feel kind of like I have to bring my elbows in, you know, Having that keyboard being, being able to split will really open up the chest, bring those shoulders wide, um, which also prevents them, because if you go into fetal position, your neck's gonna come with it and you're just gonna turn into a big macaroni. So it helps open them up, and therefore you can really, uh, you know, type a little bit more comfortably with 
your back against the back of the chair as it should be. Yep. So uh, aside from that, I'm going to just quickly mention um, the reason why you would want tenting um, involved in, uh, in your keyboard. Uh, it's, it's more of an advanced type of uh, adjustability for a keyboard. Uh, a lot of the uh, Microsoft versions like the Sculpt and the, and the Natural 4000, those are types of keyboards that, um, that basically have it built into the design. There's a slight curvature to it in the tenting. And what that does is similar to like a vertical mouse, it reduces the amount of pronation required when typing, tightening up the forearm a little bit more, encouraging you to curl up a little bit more. So what that, what that tenting does is as I bring this up like this, for example, as you, as you can see, it's like a tent like that. Sorry, you can't see very well. But basically, I've raised the center pieces of my keyboard. And now you can see my wrists are now more into that neutral posture, that shake hand position, the handshake position. Okay? So when that happens, my shoulders tend to kind of come back a little bit more. My chin can, can also follow suit because the muscles are connected to your, to your cervical spine. Okay? So open that shoulder, open those shoulders up, and you got, you got voila. You have, um, you know, more neutral position this way, and because of the, the split keyboard, more neutral position in this, in this way too. So there's three ways of, just to summarize, there's three ways to have bad positioning of the wrist, um, and a norm, a standard keyboard would encourage all three, um, and you know, of course, in certain individuals. Um, the first one is you'll have pronation, tightening up the tissues of the forearm. You have wrist deviation or, well, mainly deviation of the wrist, that angle right there. And then lastly, you can have extension or flexion, but mainly you're worried about extension of the wrist. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, all three of those deviations are, are bad, you know. More than one multiplies the whole, the, the, the severity of the risk involved in it. So uh, pretty much wanna, if you notice any of the signs like uh, tension in your forearm, the, the, you know, wanting to kind of, kind of come in forward, you're the type of person that plants your, your wrist. If you're noticing any of the deviation, um, or tightness, sort of like a tennis elbow, sort of out laterally here, um, then uh, I, I feel like uh, this is a type of keyboard uh, or um, any type of uh, split keyboard would definitely be a benefit to you. Thank you very much. Please uh, subscribe and more to come.